Hello, thank you for coming to the channel. I am going to show you what is inside this bag today. You are going to want to watch and you are going to want to see what is in here. Because this thing, this is the very first of a whole new range I'm bringing out. I'm relaunching the website uh, in the next couple of months. Um, and it will have... Uh, It'll be more streamlined and it'll have a number of hilts in the new range. This is the first one. I'm nervous about this, but I don't even tell what it is yet. You most probably have an idea now. There we are. Look at this, guys. Just check that out. Now, this is the weathered version. Uh, there will be a non weathered version. Um, just so you know, that it, this isn't going to be super polished, shiny metal as in like like some that's come off a conveyor belt of a load of machines i made it this is you know this is gonna have this going to be scratches and sanding marks all over them they're not the i'm not going to do super polished pristine gorgeous star killers i'm just not going to do it because it's not a star kill in my mind that way uh star killers in my mind look like this the grimy and you know the and all that sort of thing and also really nice detailing on the top as well Now you've got this, you may have seen the crystal chamber. There's no crystal in this, this, this actual crystal chamber. It's a mock-up. But let me show you something. Which way I have to do it that way. And little push. Oh, I forgot to say. All right. And then your chassis comes out. Like I said, this is a mock-up chassis just to test. Uh, and then you put it in, line up. You line up the locking nut aspect, that slides in, and then you just lock it in place. They won't come out. Really secure, easily put a blade in there, and it's in. I'm try trying to do this in reverse without actually seeing what I'm doing. It's actually really hard. If you have it in your hand, it's actually quite easy. So I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand here. So. Which way is it? So it's that way, down, little latch. There you go. Like I said, the chassis is only a mock up. Just want to line up that with the center. And you're done. So you're in a say, let's say you're at Comic Con or somewhere like that, and you're like, oh, and like, oh, look. Oh wow, I love your star killer. Like, oh yeah. Oh wow, I'll check out the chassis. Oh yeah, look, and that'll be a blue crystal. It'll be permanently blue, glowing um, type thing. And like, oh yeah, check out this. And like, oh yeah, thanks. No, that's really cool. And like, do you want to see something else? Like, yeah, what else? And like, well, check this out. I'm going to, just going to uh, push that to the side. And then it comes out. To be honest, the next one, the because this is a mock-up, this is exactly the right fit I wanted. Um, so it should be a lot. It should be a lot easier coming out and going back in. And they're like, oh my god, look, that's your sass, that's your car. Whoa, that's amazing. And like, yeah. And then you just go, and then you slide it back in, line it back up. And it's locked back up in place. Let me show you that again. Oh, you can do it that way. There's your car. You put the car in, it's lined up, you can't see. So say I lined it up properly, push it in place. <laughs> Look at that! The amount, this is, this the hilt itself, this is a third iteration. It's taken me three attempts to make this bloody hilt, to get the portion right, the sizing right, the length right. 
uh, and then all you need to do, if you want to turn this on, all you do, there's no there's no switch because the Xenopixel V3 is gesture controls. If you want to turn it on, you go or that to turn it on. Uh, but the inside there is a little button, and you just press that down until it wakes up, and then that's it. You got it. Uh, and also, if you want to see uh, the crystal will flash in time. So you know. Um, so you know if you say you want to put it in silent mode, um, you can press that button once and that'll the crystal will flash for once and then it's in silent mode. Press it if you want it to flash two times to change the blade colour, uh, sorry, the uh, blade startup, you press it and hold it down, and it'll go flash flash. So the crystal is the ring light on a normal saber. Um the other thing I want to mention about this guys um is uh the bunny ears have been hand welded in place the switch has been hand welded in place so if you it's really hard to see in this light I don't know why it's so bloody dark with so much light in here uh, so th that's done and then each one of these uh, ribs on the aluminium section here have all been hand welded as well so uh, it is so well put together I mean it's stupidly strong um, it's just a really, really great saber. And then you've got the crystal chamber that lines up inside as well. Uh, once the blade's in and it's locked in place, and all you need to do is turn this uh, to... Um, that locks it in place. So that's all you need to do for that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's brilliant. I'm so very, very proud of that. It's such a nice star killer. I've been wanting to, I, I did make them a few years ago. I'm just going to do this again. Oh, it's out. Look at that. You can't buy that. Yeah, you can. You can buy it. These are going to be on sale. So these will be on sale, really actually speaking about that. Uh, these will be on sale when I launch a new website. Um, I was going to have a little button that you press as well, but to be honest, this is so secure. Um, it, it it fits so well and it's so secure. I don't need the button, so why why press a button then do this when, when that, that's all it takes, you know? And the other thing is you don't have to have that. If you want to have the uh, the star killer the chassis the other way, so it might be a bit more tricky. Let me line that up. No, you can't really do it that way. I mean, if you could do it that way, you can do. But so yeah, it's just so cool. And it's out. And then you want to put it back in again. Line it up. It the the light. I, I must admit the the lining up aspect. So once it's lined up, and then click, and it's just it's just in there. It doesn't move. It's absolutely awesome. I don't know if I'd suggest dueling with these due to the uh, the complexity. Uh, I suppose you could do, uh, but it's entirely up to you. So that's that's that one there, and then we also have another model, which will be going out, which is this one here. So this is also going to be part uh, one of the sabers with a built-in chassis that just comes straight out. How nice is that? You're gonna, it's got the vents on the side, so light can come out there, light can come out here. You've got this really nice gold detailing there. You've got little detail switches. I haven't put the locking nut in. You've got little diodes there. On the handle, you got, this is a fake button, like I said. You've just got a master on off and it's gesture controls. And you got two buttons on the side, and you got detailing on there too, and then the pommel. I really like as well. So this is also going to be in the new launch, uh, and I'm working on a few more models and designs that will also go into the new launch. Uh, but this is just a mock-up, just to so you can see what it looks like. So yeah, absolutely awesome, guys. The things are. Things are changing quite a lot at Four Sabres. 
to to be able to now have the because I, I made I did make a star killer uh, about two three years ago. I'll put picture up now. So here you go. <clears throat> so this is actually a photo of the star killer I made um, about two three years ago. Well, due to me not being able to get the uh, some specific parts for the chamber, uh, I actually stopped selling it. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but now uh, let me let me come back. Hello again. Uh, but now I can uh, now in advance that I've got the 3D printer and that sort of thing. It means I can now make Starkiller again. I know the neck's not th super thin, but obviously, if you want to be able to take out a crystal chamber like that and then show people your Kyber crystal chamber then it kind of means it's got to be a certain size all the way through. Oh, that just fits straight in. It's it's so cool. The way that it locks in place is just awesome. I, I love how it just locks in place. Sorry, I'm just, the whole video I'm just doing this, aren't I? I'm just like, I look, it just, and I'm getting quite good at actually lining it straight up to begin with. I don't know, he says that and then fluffs it. It's just so good, man. It's so cool. Um, guys, comment. What do you think? Oh, by the way, did I forget to mention? Uh, the, we're giving away the Mandalorian her helmet at uh, 1,000 subscribers. I'm giving away this at 2,000 subscribers. The very first one, the prototype. 2,000 subscribers. I'm giving this away. So if you want to win this for free, absolutely free, if you want this Sabre, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and one person out of the channel will get the chance to win this. 2,000 subs for this. And I, I don't know how much it would, uh, what the uh, recommended retail price will be for this, but I've got a feeling it will be around £600. Um, let me just double check. I have been doing some work on the price for this. And when I say I've been doing some work on the price, um, <clears throat> what I mean is I've looked around loads of uh, lightsabers online. Uh, I've looked at loads that have a crystal chamber where you have to untwist it and bring it down. And it's just a, uh, a crystal there flashing. Uh, and those ones are around $700. Uh, I've looked at other ones that actually have um, like a really, really good chassis. Uh, maybe better than this chassis, I don't know, but I uh, have chassis as well. And they're going for around... Uh, oh, uh, six, £650 as well. Um, well, not really, no. Seven, I think £700, I don't know. Um, but... I'm thinking the recommended retail price will be around 600 maybe over. Um, I don't know. What do you think? How much how much you how much would the retail price be for this sabre? Cuz this hilt looks damn good without anything in it. But you got a fully removable crystal chassis with everything on there which then slides inside and then just locks in place like that. How much? What would you say? What would you expect to pay for that? I mean, to be honest, if I was going to completely honest with you all, if I saw this as a lightsaber and I was going to buy that, uh, I would expect it to be at least minimum £600. It's also Xenopixel V3, so you've got the full-on blade. Come on, guys. I mean, let me know your thoughts. I, I want to know what you lot think. Is that the right way? No, that's why. Let me know what you think. Uh, so, yeah, uh, don't forget we are giving away the Mandalorian helmet at a thousand subscribers. We have got this saber here, which is going to be given away, uh, which is a wonderful prop. Uh, and this is going to be given away at 750 subscribers. We're nearly at, uh, we just broke 650. We're 100 subscribers away. So, if you want this, guys, uh, in, uh, it won't be much longer now, so I would strongly suggest 
you subscribe if you haven't subscribed uh, to all those who have subscribed thank you so much and thank you for the insane amount of support uh, I really really appreciate it as always I need to mention that so this is going away at 750 subscribers this this is going to be given away um, at 2,000 subscribers now that's a steal I'd subscribe to anything for that uh, so yeah like I said um, I will pick somebody out when we hit 750 subscribers and uh, don't forget we have got the build your own lightsaber competition uh, that is now running and it will run until the first of next month which is June uh, so all you have to do is uh, submit your design of lightsaber to the four sabers at gmail email address along with the contract do not forget the contract or it's not a valid entry uh, so all you have to do is submit your design you can submit up to five different designs uh, and then the best design that i can physically make will then be made into a real lightsaber with the xenopixel v3 uh, install and sent out to that winner for complete free after most probably got some photos and stuff like that so uh, yeah thanks for checking out the video guys uh, like i said Big things, very, very big things are coming in the very near future. So you don't want to miss out. Get subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed, you could win this because not only are subscribers going to be in chance of winning it, it's the people who like the video. So there will be a specific video and one person, will, uh, one person that comments and likes will be the one that gets the win. So thank you very much everyone and I will see you in the next uh, next video.